The Clone Source Panel allows you to have Photoshop remember the clone points in more than one image. For example, if I want to clone some information from this image and clone some information from this image and even from an image that has a cat in it and then put them all in one image, this panel located in the window menu called Clone Source is going to remember up to five of these. And it's a really cool tool. Let me pull this out here and I'll go ahead and collapse those guys. The way it works is it remembers the name of the image and you'll see the name of the image down here. So I'm going to create a clone source of this wave with my clone tool. So I'll go ahead and Alt or Option click in the wave. Notice the name of the image here. Then I'll go to my other image and I press this button here and I will clone the cat. Notice the name of the image here. So if I click on this first icon, here's the first image and here's the second image. Now I'll go to the third image and I'll click this button here and I'll once again Alt or Option click on the surfer. So I have three different remembered clone sources. I can now go to this image and I can create another layer and I can choose from which image I like to paint. So let's go ahead and use the clone source from the cat and on this layer I'm going to bring in those pixels that belong to the cat. I'm going to increase the size of my brush as you see here is that big eye of the cat. Then I'm going to click on this guy here and I'll create another layer and now I'm going to bring in the surfer. So as you can see the clone source gives you the ability to work with really cool collages based on several different images. So you don't have to drag and drop your different images into one complete file and then use layer masks to hide and show other portions of those other images. Simply make clone sources out of them. You can also, by the way, reduce the size of the clone source. So let's say I want to, once again, use the cat. And I also want to see an overlay of that cat. What I could do is move my mouse and I can see what I'm going to be cloning from. I'm also going to scale this down 25%. And once again, I move my mouse and I'm able to see when I move my mouse the area I'm going to be putting in here. Let me go ahead and scale the cat down some more, 10%. And I move my mouse and I'm over here cloning the whole image now. So the overlay is really helpful when you want to see what you're going to be putting down. So I'll go to the surfer again and as you see here, as I move my mouse, I'll go ahead and reduce the size of this one as well. I can start to paint that whole image. I can also reduce the opacity of this overlay and change how it looks. So I can darken it, lighten it, and also put it in difference mode. I can also choose to auto hide it so that when I'm moving my mouse and I let go, the overlay hides and I don't have to see it. Likewise, I can also choose to invert it. So I think that you'll find this very handy, especially if you are a collage artist and you want to combine several different images into one to create a finished piece of artwork.